News now out of Sandusky, where a couple there is facing charges after staging a fake murder scene at their home. Yeah, that's right. They doctored photos to make it look like there was a homicide. The now's Tara Molina tells us officers who showed up were told it was all a joke. Well, guys, the couple used Facebook and a really graphic phony photo to, as they put it to police, play a joke on their family. But they did a whole lot more than that. And I want to warn you, this photo is fake, but it could still be disturbing. My grandson called me and he found his girlfriend in the bathtub dead. The 911 calls. Her eyes are open and her mouth is open. Okay, okay. Like she's dead. Definitely aren't funny. <laughs> he said he snapped and he said he blacked out. But Micah Reisner and his girlfriend, Natalie Schlett, called all of it a joke even when the entire Sandusky police force showed up at their front door. All, all the other areas of the city that, um, you know, are being left essentially unprotected at that moment. The chief told me all of it started on Facebook. This picture sent to family with the message, please help me, I really didn't mean to. We was arguing and I woke up to this. Pretty uh, realistic looking. You can see Natalie Schlatt appears to be covered in blood in a bathtub, a large kitchen knife in the picture. The couple told police that's all ketchup cleaned up before they got there. The officers were um, rather upset about it uh, once everything calmed down and uh, kind of found out the story. The point of their hoax it was a ploy to get a sister home that who, who they thought had stolen money from them. I went to Micah and Natalie's home to see if they wanted to share their side of the story and account for the seven officers their joke took off the street that night. No answer. But Micah did respond to my request via text with this. What do I get out of it? I don't talk for free. I ain't worthless. So what you want to do, Tara? That couple, both charged with inducing panic, pled not guilty. I asked the police chief if more severe charges could be filed since the entire police force responded to this. He told me probably not. Reporting in Sandusky, Tara Molina, News 5.